Who's there? mess up or is this supposed to happen no I, I messed up it's a hell of a creature wait don't go oh god don't leave me here alone Let me try you off. Oh, God. No. No, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm dead. I thought I could maybe use my shield to get through them, but uh, I don't think so. I think I just need to avoid the mods. Wait. Don't go. Oh, God. Don't leave me here. Hello? If I find you some clothes, will you let me go? I probably have a spare t-shirt. Oh god! No! Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. A creature is really cool. Hmm. Hmm. Can I go back out this way? Oh no, 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 no. They're too dense. Oh! Oh my god! Whew! They followed me much closer to the light than I thought they would.
I wish I could look around more. Oh, oh, oh no, it's looking the other way. It's fine. It's on me, it's on me. Get to the light, get to the light. Can I just blast these away? Nah, I need to use my shield. We're done with it yet. Oh, we're so gonna fall down here. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. Oh, we're back here for the first time since the beginning of the game. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I think we 
we saw the outline of a person sitting in the seat opposite to Marianne there. Which we didn't see before. When we saw at the beginning of the game, it was just her talking to seemingly no one. Wake up, please. Marianne! I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Sounds like it's raining outside now. There's someone there. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine! Richard! Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? I love the sound of the water on the glass outside, on the windows. Is the elevator usable anymore? No. Thanks, Sadness. seeing it in my dreams, the other place, dust and death as far as the eye can see, a feeling of nothingness tearing at my soul. I wake up choking, feeling the dust burning through my lungs. I beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Yeah, what now? I need keys or bolt cutters. Oh. Thank you. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me, in a way. Uh. Is 
Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. How many people died here? That sounds like the Maw again. Don't want to jump down into that empty pool just yet. Actually, I think over there is an open door with a bunch of blood leading to it, so maybe I do want to go into the pool first. Oh, there's blood here too. What does that mean? Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Hmm. The word means militia. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. But... How? Why? The nurse must be Ursula. I got the feeling that this place was doing like mad scientist kind of experiments but now I'm wondering if it might just be some sort of possession maybe there is an actual supernatural evil that took over the people here Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah, uh, Definitely didn't need to feel that. Sorry. The groundskeeper postcard. My dearest, I wish this was it. The moment I pluck up the courage and actually send this one. Seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox. Then why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. F. Oh, look. 
Look at the tiles and the way the light plays on them. Beautiful. Especially the specular reflections, I guess they're called, on the very, very left of the screen. From the light. Oh, that's so pretty. Francis, what am I supposed to do with, with you? Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing. I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good, Mr. Rekovitz. I'll probably go home this next spring. Summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. Guess that's the least I can do. Good old Frank. Too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this, but then I remember. I need all the help I can get. Okay, well that explains why... Uh, sorry, what was their name? Frank? That explains why Frank wasn't sending any of the letters. They were an alcoholic who, I guess, ran away or was kicked out of the family and was trying to get the courage to um, basically come back into their life. Reflections. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. I do not like the fact that we're looking at a reflection. Reflections in horror games are not good things. They're deeply cursed. Nothing good ever happened in a reflection in any piece of horror media ever. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. There's so much I could cut with bolt cutters. Um, can you just climb the garbage, please? What do I do here then? Oh. Shoot. Okay. Oh, shit. This is going to be a way of switching to the other side, isn't it? Well, that's my seven years bad luck. Oh no. Oh, that's the maw. That's a reflection of the maw back there. Uh, is it gone? Who's Hannah? Wait, I can jump down, but the trail goes this way. Hey! Wait up! Come on, Slowpoke! I've got an idea. We're gonna show that weirdo. What? What are you going to do? Hmm. There were some kids here. 
I mean, not exactly a revelation, Marianne, to be fair. Hello? Anyone? about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. We were here, weren't we? As a kid? Before we were adopted? Maybe? Should. Shut the heck up, Bernard! Guys! Oh, kids can be such assholes sometimes. Show me something? What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Mm -hmm. Why does that sound familiar? Cute. Closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. Yeah, it looks like I need to use it in the mirror. Uh, Marianne, could you turn off your flashlight if I'm sneaking? It's freaking me out a little bit.
It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. What the hell is this place? Fine looking. He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. Send their soul away. blood trails and flesh to cut. I don't have any charge to get through the bugs. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernhard's missing. I need to look around. A spirit well. I could use some of that energy. Ah, oh, we can go back to the other world now. Can we do that at will? That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Ah, oh, right. I need the black cat figurine for this side. That's what that picture showed. A white cat and a black cat. One on one side and the other on the other. Burn, you little fucks. <laughs> this was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. What's the name on it? Is that... Uh, no, I can't read that, actually. Oh, wait, no. It just says Kitty, doesn't it? Nope, nope, nope. Stay with me. Stay. Yeah, 
Yeah, now we can do it at will. No. Nuh-uh. Or... No. Well, I guess we don't have any reason to go back. Do we still have the cat figurine in our inventory? We do. Okay. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I tried to go fast, but I should have gone slow and just hidden. Although the spirits can't see our world, they're not deaf to the sounds you make. And also, if they touch me, even if I'm being silent, if they touch me, I think it's over. I think that's what just happened there. I think I should not run. Yeah, now, now it's not running over here. Can I hold my breath forever? I couldn't believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. I need those so bad. There's so many locks that can be cut. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Let's not go there just yet. Locked. Okay, <laughs> now we can go there. Titled Bad Nursey. There's more of them. What has it done to you? 
No names, no faces, no way to help them. Just like Bernard. Gotta help each one. Nothing here. At least, not in this world. Hmm. There we go. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather's great. Sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. Love, F. Well, glad you didn't send that one. Getting close. That woman was here. Oh, she was a ballerina. Oh, Vivienne. This room has Guy written all over it in big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. 
probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Okay, so this is a stalker. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? I... hmm. I guess maybe not a stalker, per se. Just a manager who is also... a fucking creep. who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Ellie and Tori? I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. Oh, hello. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were. No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Oh, we can dial the other numbers. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. No, oh, that'd be Frank. What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. 
Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. I really like that as a plot point. That it's someone's true name. Like, their true name is not their legal name. Like, of course it isn't. Why would it be? I mean, well, it is often, but why would it have to be? It doesn't have to be. Of course the most important thing is what you want to be called. I know that very well. <laughs> I changed my name to a, a feminine sounding name just because of that. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. I think if somebody tried to free my spirit, they were like, be free from the spirit world. You are, you may pass on now, Marshall. I'd be like, what the fuck? That's not my name, huh? It's Lila, bitch. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Okay, I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. There's a mirror. There's also a lot of suspiciously placed objects that look like I'm supposed to hide behind them. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go, the voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice, that's the guy. list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Across from Boris, that's probably important. Well, actually, that's all I need, isn't it? I just look at the list, see which number is Boris, and look at which seat number is across from that, cross-reference, and we're good. Boris... Number nine. It was the first.
first one number nine? No, seven. Five. Two, one. Wait. Oh, that one's number nine. So number one? No, number four. Number four is them, so their name is Nikolas Ovcharek. Do I need to... Like, I know that, but does the game know that I know that? You know what I mean? Like, is it going to be a thing where I put the mask back on and I have to just, like, select their name? Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. Thank you, madam. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Mr. Rekovitz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I'd swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. I guess it runs in the family. Hmm. Okay, maybe we weren't here. This, um, was it Lily? Maybe Lily wasn't us. Maybe Lily was, like, our sister? That's why we have a connection to them and a connection to this place. Finally. Fucking finally. <laughs> I love that they're the same way. Back to the day room. Like, Jesus, it's been a long journey to get that thing. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkovsky. Whatever happened to you? The tests came back. No signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you, no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of venlafoxine. That'll cheer you right up. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Cause I want you to feel... Everything. Fuck. The nurse. It got to her first. But... Why? Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty confident at this point they really are going in the direction of not that this was, like, not that these murders happened because people were evil, but because some sort of demon actually got into them.
Schnip. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. I love how happy they are about the bolt cutters. Same, girl. Sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> what was that joke? Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Well, you gotta keep yourself... self. Spy name it is. Entertained and... Well... Still in the moment. Gotta have fun. Back to where we were. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. All right. The point of this entire pathway was just to get the bull cutters. We still need to go to the day room. Bull cutters just give us access to that. Here we go. 